morning, everyone. Look what I woke up to. Beautiful snowing. I just woke up. I am not getting dressed today. It is a snowy PJ day for me. Well, that's it. So, do you all remember me mentioning um, my ex, the papa who took us to the um, children's museum? Well, we, um, he's taking me to a new casino. Well, it's not new, new, but he loves casinos. I don't gamble. He gambles a little bit. And he's taking me to dinner there tomorrow. They have a, uh, they have a special on prime rib. He's got a coupon or something, so he's going to take me out tomorrow night for prime rib. And we'll see how that goes. We do still get along pretty good. He's, um, he's a grumpy old man. <laughs> he can be grumpy. Set in his ways. Stubborn. Bossy. But... But, 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 we understand each other, we're comfortable with each other, we know each other really good, I mean to the point, you know, we can fart in front of each other and all that, it's like, you know, we're very comfortable with each other, um, so, that'll be fun, go out and have, it's about an hour drive, a little over an hour drive. So I'm going to bring my knitting with me, and we'll talk and have a nice drive. Hopefully this snow stops. I, I didn't even know it was going to snow. I didn't watch the weather yesterday. So that was a surprise to wake up to it. It's so pretty. But I hope it, it's not too, too much so we can drive. Well, he'll drive in anything anyway, but it makes me nervous. So... That's what we're going to do tomorrow, so that's good that I get to get out of the house, and um, that'll be fun, and my camera shut off on me last night when I was doing my little whipping chat with you, it just shut off on me. Sometimes if somebody calls me on my phone here, it just shuts off automatically, and I don't even know it. So I just go on talking away to myself, and then I realize that my camera had shut off. That's happened a few times. So I checked on the birds this morning, and I can't count eggs right now because she's sitting on the nest. But when she gets up to eat, I'll count and see if she has any more eggs. Now, I've been looking up, I've been looking up so many different things online... And one article said that while she's sitting on her eggs, he'll feed her. And I have not seen that happen yet. She gets up and eats. I mean, she's going to have to get up to drink water. I mean, he can't do that. I don't know. But um, then another article said she'll, she won't stay on the eggs per, you know, all the time until she's done laying the whole clutch. And the clutch is usually between five and eight eggs, and so far she has three, so maybe that's what she's waiting for. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused, but excited at the same time. So, oh, that's another thing. Um, Papa wants to take me <laughs> to... He has a coupon also to go away to this Twin River place for two nights. And we do travel well together. That's one thing I can say. We always travel well together. And um, he could take a girlfriend if he wanted. I don't care, you know, whatever. I'm like, don't, you know, 
He's like, no, no, I want to take you. We'll have fun. And um, cause I love, I'm weird. I love hotel rooms. I mean, I don't know what it is. I just love hotel rooms. And um, he can go downstairs and gamble and I'll just hang out in the room or whatever. And so we're going to do that. But he has it scheduled for the exact same days that the eggs are due to hatch. So now I don't know. I can't leave. I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to have to ask him if he can reschedule, which he's going to have a fit because he is not a man who likes change. And when when he says he's going to be here, at, he'll, see, he'll say, I'll be there at 2.08 instead of, you know, around 2 o'clock. And he'll be here at 2.08. He's next Marine. And he is obsessed with time he is on time matter of fact this is a funny story <laughs> I thought we were talking on the phone my friend set us up we used to, you know when we were dating years ago and she set us up we talked on the phone for like two hours we got along so good he's like okay and I'll pick you up Friday we'll go to what maybe a three o'clock movie and I said okay and then my daughter had asked me that Friday to babysit all three of the children. And this is back when they were just babies. Well, Abigail was a baby. The other two were a little older. And I babysat all afternoon. She didn't even pick them up till like 2.30. I was sweaty. I was a mess. And I called him and I said, uh, you know, can we, um, can we go to the 5 o'clock instead? Because I still need to take a shower and get ready because I babysat all day. And he said, no. I'm all dressed and ready to go, and I'm going. And he went to the movies by himself, without me. That was our first date. He went to the movies by himself, and he does. He's weird. He goes to the movies by himself all the time. Um, it's just so, something that he had gotten the habit of doing, being single. You know, he wants to go to a movie, he goes. But he, <laughs> like... You're gonna go to our first date without me? <laughs> and he did. He went. I was livid. I called my friend. I said, who the hell did you set me up with? What What the heck? How rude. And she said, oh, he's just stuck in his ways. And <sighs> Why I ever went out with him again after that, I don't know. Because I was so mad. But I did. We ended up on the phone again and... We ended up dating in our first Thanksgiving together. He he is a very good cook. He was a cook in the Marines, too. So, he's a good cook. And he's like, oh, I'll, I'll um... He bought all the food, and he came to my house. And he was going to cook for us at my house. And his daughter came over, and, you know, it was a nice day. But then, I went in the kitchen, and I saw him preparing the mashed potatoes... And he's putting a raw egg. The mashed potatoes were already mashed. He was like mashing them up, getting ready to serve them. And he throws a raw egg in there, and he's mixing it in. And I was like, <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, oh, my mother used to do this. And I'm like, I'm no, I'm not eating a raw. Eggs gross me out to begin with. And uh, when I cook eggs, when I make scrambled, I take out that, <laughs> I crack the egg in the bowl. And then I'd scoop out that little gross white thing. It looks like an umbilical cord to me. I don't know what it is, but I don't eat it. It grosses me out. So here he is throwing a raw egg into the mashed potatoes that I'm supposed to eat. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm not eating that. That's gross. So we had a big fight about the mashed potatoes. Oh, my God. We fight about the dumbest stuff. So now that we're not dating, we're just friends. We don't bother fighting about the dumb stuff because we're not a couple. So, well, you know, whatever, do what you want. You're not my boyfriend. I don't care. And he can't boss me around because I'm not his girlfriend. We're just friends. So it works out better that way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have, oh, my God. Okay. We had another fight. The saga of the pickle fight. This was a big one. He is the type that if he does something, everyone has to be just like him. 
he doesn't understand that people were raised different, people have different tastes, people do things differently. No, everything has to be his way. And <laughs> so I'm at his house, and he's like, you want a, a grilled cheese, grilled ham and cheese? I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds good, thanks. So then he makes the sandwich. He's like, you want a pickle? I'm like, do we got sweet or sour? And he said, I got the sour. I'm like, oh, no, thanks. I only like the sweet. And he wouldn't let it go. Well, well, why? I said, just, I don't like the sour. No, thank you. But why? Everyone likes pickles. It's the same thing as the sweet. I'm like, no, it's not. I don't like them. And he just would not let it go. Well, you like them in relish, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't want a pickle. No, thank you. Can I just have my sandwich? Well, we kept going at it about a stupid pickle. He couldn't understand why the heck I didn't want a pickle. Who, who doesn't like a sour pickle? So, pretty much told him to shove his pickle where the sun don't shine. I had been uh, kind of staying with him, so I had some of my things there. Packed up my stuff, and I left. <laughs> Over a pickle. Oh, that man, he doesn't drop stuff. I'm going to talk myself right out of going to dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> Oh, but he does not drop it, and I don't, I guess I don't either, so, between the two of us, my goodness. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just funny. We argue and argue and argue, but then we always end up talking, and <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. Very strange relationship we have. But... I tell you, if I'm down and out and I have nothing, he's always there for me. He'll be here in a heartbeat if I need, if I really need something. So, even when we're, you know, broken up, like I needed um, dish soap and laundry detergent one day. And he was coming through on his way after work and he stopped by and gave me dish soap and laundry detergent. I mean, you know, I'm not even his girlfriend and he's still just, he's still make sure I'm okay so we have a strange relationship but I guess it works so I mean when you get older it's like it just I mean I don't care about any romance stuff anymore we just you know we're friends and that works good for me and he did get me um a valentine he got me a little box of chocolates so that was sweet because I had asked for, um, I'm terrible. I'm like, can you please get me some, what did I need, bread and eggs or something? Because he comes by, he usually drives right by here on his way home from work. So he got me, he handed me the bag. I met him outside in the driveway and he handed me the bag and drove off, you know. And I, I come upstairs and his eggs, bread, and a valentine. So that was nice. <laughs> we have the weirdest relationship, don't we? Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do. So there's that. But, um, yeah, today I'm just going to stay in, stay cozy. I really, really, really have to clean that bird cage, and I just don't want to, like, I read stories that if the mother bird gets distressed or something she'll abandon the eggs so I don't know what to do it needs to be you know what I might do I might just put clean newspaper down over everything to cover up all the old poop I mean it's not a perfect solution but it'll be less invasive and that way they'll be you know when they go to the bottom of the cage at least they'll be clean because I put it on the tray then I put it on top of the bars too because their little feet are so skinny I don't like them to be walking on the bars so maybe I'll do that I'll just put down fresh newspaper on top of the bars inside the cage I do not want to stress her out that's what I'll do oh goodness goodness 
So what did I do? Oh, I'm finishing up two more little scarves. One's kind of just decorative. It's not for warmth. And I did it in a double crochet. I did two rows of single crochet. And I did it the long way again. I like doing it the long way. Rather than going across, 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 all the way till you get the length of your scarf, I crocheted the whole length, 60 inches. And then I kept going back and forth. And I did uh, single crochet, single crochet, then all double crochets, and then two more single at the other end, the other side. So it's long, like this, with the double crochet all in the middle, and it looks really pretty. And, um... I like doing scarves that way better rather than going, you know, you get this much and then keep going the length. It just seems to go quicker going the length first and then getting your width, crocheting or knitting till you get the width you want. To me, it goes so much faster. I like that. And the yellow, what is it? Orange, green, yellow. That one's almost done. I had quite a few mistakes. I had dropped a couple stitches. So, I had to fix all those. And I fixed those very carefully. So that one's almost done now, too. I want to put, um, I think I want to put some tassels on them, though. Finish them up. And that's about it. I want to get going on slippers again, but i got to wait till I get some different yarn. Because the yarn I have now is too thin to make slippers. So that's all that's been going on with me. Look at all the rounds I got. And these are not even the ones that came with this kit. These are the ones that came with this kit. These are just extras from all the other kits I've had. <laughs> they do give you enough. I mean, I have run out before, I think, of a certain blue color. And then, but I've never run out of blacks, that's for sure. But with the blues, I just um, went through my stash of extras and got a color that was similar. I used that, so now I'm kind of glad, you know, that I saved my extras because you never know when you might run out of something. And even if you don't have the exact color, you'll have something similar. So that worked out good for me. But usually you don't run out. I'd like to try one of those little, um, I always tend to order the same thing, eyeballs, butterflies, weird, you know, but I'd like to try one of the little cottages, the cottages and the, the maybe a little snow scene or something, kind of like almost a little Norman Rockwell, I don't know, I want to try something like that, I want to order one of those next, I think. I don't want to keep getting the same type, I want to do something a little different. I was watching different people's, um, different people's whip and chats last night, and I found the lady that I like, I just found her, she's really good, she's funny, it's called, um, oh, now I can't remember, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, I think Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, and she's a riot, oh my goodness, I really enjoy her. So, and, um, I do listen to Donnie and, and Grace, but, um, you know, they, they don't make new ones every day. Donnie almost does, but, so, yeah, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. That shit's funny. So, I think I'm going to... Go and check my mail. Throw on my slippers and my bathrobe. And I'll see you all later. Have a great, wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye, everyone.